Ron Washington, um, uh, Darren Oliver, I haven't seen his name in a while, one of the great guys of the game. Pretty cool. Yeah. And uh, Wash joins us from the Dream Series in Arizona. Wash, you're down there. Have you discovered the next Marcus Simeon already? <laughs> well, we haven't started yet, but uh, today is our first day, and um, I ended up coming on your, your network before I had a chance to get out there and, and get a, put an eye on a, on a group of those kids. Oh, we're taking your but eye I'm excited. Off yeah. You know. We're taking you away from what you, what you prefer doing. I know how much you love working with these kids. Have you, have you participated in this event in the past? No, this is my first time, and um, I'm excited. I'm so happy that they uh, gave me an opportunity to come here and give back. You know, I, I just love the game of baseball, and uh, – our youth today certainly need everything that we are able to give to them. So I'm very happy to be here, and I'm looking forward to the next four days and getting between those lines and um, helping some of these kids realize their dreams. Hey, Ron, the 17-year-old baseball player, how different has he changed from 30, 40 years ago? Well, I, I think they're stronger. Um, I think they have more uh, knowledge for access than, than we've had. I think back in the day when we played, uh, we were our knowledge. We, we, you know, we threw things off of each other. Uh, now, you know, you look at the staff that they put together for this dream weekend right here. Um, I've never had that in all the years I've been in the game of baseball. Um, so um, I'm just looking forward to getting out there and see the raw talent and then see how we can shape that raw talent into a uh, uh, exactly what those kids feel like they want to be as far as playing baseball goes. Been an interesting offseason for you, uh, a part of a terrific Braves staff. We had Walt Weiss on the program yesterday, and I, we've all kind of marveled at the group that they've put together as a coaching staff with, with Brian Snitker there. But for you, mentioned as a managerial candidate for a couple of jobs this winter, look, there's three more gigs now as a result of the craziness of this week. Is that at all on your mind, managing again, maybe as soon as this year? Well, you know, I really would love to manage again, but my phone haven't rung. So um, in the meantime, you know, I'm just focused on what I have to do here in the next four days. But I certainly would like to get back in um, that dugout and, and lead a ball club, uh, uh, possibly back to a World Series. But uh, I'm just waiting for my phone to ring. <laughs> well, uh, Ron, I, I hope it rings and it should ring. Um, I want to ask you a little bit about, because you were referring to your Atlanta ball club, um, Acuna and Albies. Uh, I know what you've done defensively with Albies is, uh, is just uh, transformational. Uh, but watching those two young players must be fun uh, for a baseball man. Well, no doubt about it. Uh, they show up every day like veterans. Uh, they come every day and they prepare and they do what they have to do. So when the game starts, they can go out there and give us an opportunity to win as many games as we possibly can. Uh, they're a very special group and um, they're young and they, they, play, they play the game of baseball well beyond their years. Mentioned that we had Walt Weiss on the program yesterday. And I want to ask you the same thing we asked Walt regarding the current scandals in baseball, the uh, use of cameras and sign stealing. Uh, are, are we to believe that this is as widespread as some claim it to be? Or in your mind, are these isolated incidents in the league? Well, I think it's isolated. You can't blame 30 clubs for what a few clubs uh, uh, got caught doing. And in my opinion, you know, uh, the two clubs that are mentioned, uh, they had the talent to just show up every day and play the game of baseball the way they've always played it. Prepare, see pitch, hit pitch, run bases. Uh, they had the power. They had everything. So um, it's unfortunate that uh, they had to go to that length. Uh, and now it's tarnished. You know, their reputation is tarnished because uh, that Houston Astros team is as powerful and as talented a team as uh, you can put on the field. And um, it's, it's just unfortunate. But I don't think uh, we should put the blame on 30 clubs because that's not happening. So, Ron, I was wondering if it's still going to be a dream for the infielders that are at this dream camp once you have them on your knees and hitting fungos <laughs> to their backhand for a half hour. <laughs> at 5 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it will be a dream. You know, it's a dream for me uh, to be able to uh, be out there and have an opportunity to work with this young talent. And um, I'm just looking forward to uh, seeing where I can help. Um, 
you know, they're going to help me to bring the, the get, get the excitement going again because another baseball season is coming, and um, I hope I can help them with my infusion of excitement and, and knowledge and wisdom and what I can impart to them on the defensive side of the baseball. Really good event and uh, so great of you and the rest of the uh, very established Major League personnel to participate the fourth annual Dream Series. Ron Washington joining us from Arizona. Wash, thanks. We look forward to seeing you somewhere on opening day. Well, I know you will. No <laughs> doubt about that. Somewhere. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thanks, Wash.